Dear friends, let me welcome you at the annual general meeting of the European Federation of Heart of Hearing People. Unfortunately, duties in my region did not allow me to join you in person. However, I would like to extend my warm words of welcome to you, at least by digital means. As a member of the European Parliament, I have been involved in promoting an initiative which I hope could facilitate the life of deaf and hard hearing people. This initiative aims to improve access to audiovisual media by introducing subtitles in all programs broadcasted on public TV. The campaign, which has been so lively moderated by your federation, has had its ups and downs. We found out that the European Union cannot force member states to introduce a legal obligation for subtitling due to lack of competences. Broadcasters on their side complain that they do not have funds to train their staff or buy equipment necessary to produce subtitles. Having said this, I have recently observed some positive signs. European Commissioner responsible for disability, Mrs. Vivian Redding, is a very ambitious person. Her recent communication called the European Disability Strategy expressly acknowledges that lack of subtitles in TV is a big problem. I therefore trust that in the near future she will address this issue in a practical way. For example, by proposing European funds to finance the introduction of subtitles on TV. At the same time, private operators also begin to understand that subtitles will allow them to reach a wider audience. For example, the French channel TV saint Mont has recently introduced Polish subtitles because they understood that they gain a large audience in Poland. Ironically, a deaf person in Poland has better access to French news than Polish news. I hope that in the future other channels, including the private ones, will follow this path. However, I am also convinced that awareness rising in the EU institutions makes sense. This is why I encourage you and your organization to prepare a position paper on subtitling. Now that it is finalized, I will make sure it reaches the right people, commissioners and MEPs alike. And I hope that by working in cooperation, we will convince them that this initiative merits EU support. I really believe that perseverance pays off. We have been working together for over five years. We have credible arguments on our side. This last thing we need is a strong political support. I hope that your position paper will be a step forward. I would also like to encourage you to raise this issue of subtitles whenever possible at conferences in which you participate, on blogs, internet forums, etc. Today I wish you once again a very successful conference and I hope to meet at least some of you in Brussels in the near future. Thank you very much. Lydia Geringer, Utenberg.